Hello everyone and welcome to The Ancients, given to me by Gorilla Works. Now, as far as I know, this is a survival game and I love survival games, but we'll see how it goes. Settings in development? Oh, that's an interesting one. Never seen that before. Anyway, let's start. Okay. QE, mouse wheel, drag your mouse all by pressing QE on your lip. Okay, so like that. To open radio menu left click on your location on the tactical map you'll be able to select your available options right click on the point in the map tile this kind of reminds me of civilization like the old version of civilization in the ancients every action costs energy energy is shown as action points every time you s your action points run out you must skip a turn to refresh and in the current turn is the only way to refresh your action points. Move to the next turn to progress in a tutorial. You can either press end turn or space key. Your clan spends food every turn. You must find food enough for your clan each turn. In Egypt, you can easily meet your food needs by collecting raw materials from the tasks around. Vegetables are the most common food source in early game. Check around and find a vegetable tile you can check if the tile has any resources resource amounts resource types and other specific information can be shown in the highlighted window gather some vegetables to feed your tribesmen how do i do i right click oh Congratulations, you managed to gather food. Temperature and weather affect your tribesmen. They might catch a cold and get sick if they do not get warm. To protect your tribesmen from the cold, you must make camps. Campfires increase your warmth level. You need to you need wood to make a camp. Go to the forest tile. Let me guess, gather wood? Gather wood. Wood is an essential resource to make camps, craft tools and build shelters. Campfires Use some wood each turn to keep lit. Gather enough wood to make one. Oh, wait. Action points. Pay into the best location to make camp. They have extra protection against cold. Even if not camping, caves still provide some protection. You have encountered an animal carcass, probably a predator left you behind. You can easily gather meat and leather without hassle of hunting. Leather is a key resource to craft protective clothing and build advanced shelters to keep yourself warm in hard winter. To gather whatever you find, uh, whenever you find some. Congratulations, you gave us some leather. Now we'll come in handy. Now go to the cave and make a camp. I'm actually wondering if these will disappear. So I've got food and I've got leather. Let's go to the cave, I guess. Wait, how do I... How do I make a camp? Oh. Oh, it needs two action points. That's why it's not doing anything. 
There we go. Oh, this little bit is the thing. I thought it was the outside as well. You can see resource tiles near you when camping. You can give orders to a whole clan to gather a resource from one tile. To do that, you have to select a tile and choose gathering resources from it. Okay. You can craft items only if you if one of your clans camping. Open inventory by pressing I key or the highlights button. Ah. Select craft tab from top side of inventory window. Available crafting and cooking recipes are listed here. To craft an item first you need to select a recipe from the left on the uh, list on the left. If you want to craft more items Click on keep crafting. Okay. How do I oh crafting one? Assign a tribesman. Select the tribesman you want to assign on the task. Right mouse. You can select multiple tribesmen when you have a larger clan. Okay. How do I get a larger clan? That's what I want to know. Some tasks such as crafting, cooking, and building take at least one turn to complete. Click on the close button on the top right and go back to map to end the counter. Weapons like the spear you are currently crafting provide extra attack damage. Crafting an item could take a few turns. Proceed some turns until it's finished. turns I need to skip. Oh, that's a bit weird. You got your first Item. Now it's time to flip them. Open the inventory window to see your inventory. Equip good. Let's see. Did I do it right? Click on the close bar or I to go back to map. See the change on. Oh, nice. Winter is the deadliest season among all. Your clothing can be worn out and you may need to craft a new one. Keep track of the seasons highlighted at the top to see winter is coming or not and equip warmer clothing. You can also check current weather from the seasonal panel. Tribesmen don't get thirsty much in rainy weather. Take advantage of that. Congrat Congratulations, you pretty much learned all the basics. If you need. Wait. Oh. You have just extended your plans too. Many more will join you along the journey. You are ready to start advanced tutorials to learn other dimensions of the ancients. Huh. So you can migrate? That's pretty cool. Set the advanced tutorial route and click on the middle button to... Um, I think I did the right thing. I don't know, it seemed a bit funny just then. Welcome to the advanced tutorial. Winter is almost here. Your clan is getting bigger, but there is still a lot to learn about survival. Surviving. A doctor? 
You have two clan members, so you can do multiple tasks at once. Open the inventory either by clicking the flashing button below or pressing I. You can perform another task, but you still need to provide fuel to your campfire. So one of your tribesmen can gather wood. Okay, so one guard and one guard. One guard and one gets wood, I just should say. Flashing panel shows your clan's current stats. It has many values from Maslow values to essential survival skills. You can learn more about them by opening the guidebook. We're, out, we're almost out of food. Eating vegetables and leftovers from other animals will not keep us full enough. We need to hunt for fresh meat. Approach prey. There is a prey animal nearby. These animals do not attack you unless you attack them. Slow your approach and wait for the perfect time to strike a blow. Where am I? Oh. middle mouse button on the on the animal on the current tile a new panel will open on the left middle mouse middle middle mouse button you know i didn't need to press anything i just need to hover the animal is a prey animal but never forget every prey has a predator predators will not hesitate to attack when they spot you keep an eye out for predators click on the top left button in the, to close it here we go. Then click on the animal to open radial menu and select hunting option to attack. Kill your first prey to continue the tutorial. I wish there was a way to get more action points because two is not much. Well done, you've proven your skills. Once you kill them, dead animals act like other garables in game. Open radio and select. Hmm, interesting. How much is there though? I wanna know. Well done, you're getting better and better. Let's step up your game and move on to something really game changing. Open research tree by either pressing R or pressing the flashing button. Here we go. Research tree offers a wide range of useful skills from survival to social skills. You can spend your research points and advance through all six ages in order during a game. Learn Bow Wow. What is Bow Wow? Oh, Bow Wow. Let's have a look. Increase the maximum clan count by one. Huh. Learn Tata. Huh. Learn Ding Dong? What? <laughs> oh, that's the uh, action points. Okay. Congratulations, you're learning everything you need to survive. Let's take a close look at, on the try by pressing flashing button or the T button. Here we go. On the left panel, you can see each member of your tribe. You can check their condition, what items they have, their specialization, and health. Each of them can do any task, but they are better in their own specialization. On the right panel, you can see the tribe's average Maslow values. What is Maslow? Just below it, you can see your tribe size. You can increase it by learning new research advancements. Okay. Right below the tribe stats, you can see their social dispositions. They are shaped by your actions and decisions throughout the game. Everything you do also changes the 3D representation in the middle of the screen. Interesting. Back to the map. Oh, we got a new one. Your tribesmen have met someone with good intentions. A new tribesman has joined your clan. With more action points and more tribesmen, surviving gets a bit easier. That's a good thing. They need to make that 
thing a bit bigger. Maybe the only downside to someone new joining is that we don't have enough food to feed everyone. Select the half ration option to reduce food consumption. They won't be happy, but at least they will not be hungry. Half in ration makes your clan feel insecure and vice versa makes them feel more secure. We need to sail down near somewhere and check our government stock. Our news member said that there is a good location nearby. The prince has warned us that there is a predator nearby. The newcomer has warned us that there is a predator nearby. We have to make new weapons to withstand against wild animals. Open the inventory window. Crafting tab. Spear. Pass several turns until you craft at least one spear. Assign more tribesmen on this task if it takes too long. It keeps cancelling out, which is annoying. Your tribesmen got hungry. One of them said they saw a fat animal <laughs> somewhere near. Everyone wants to go there and check it out. Is that a predator? Yeah, it's a predator. Oh no, a predator has already killed the animal we were tracking. The predator set its eyes on us. We must fight for both our lives and the food. We managed to eliminate all threats near here. It's a safe spot so we can make a camp for a while. Besides, this location has plenty of resources. Met another clan. Oh. Come across a clan of outsiders, but they are not deemed hostile. Never know what's going to happen. How should we act? Hmm. Here we go. You are now in control of two clans. You can navigate AD. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Clans can set up multiple camps or they can discover around the same. Okay. Clans can attack the same animal. Each clan has their own action points. They can easily take down an animal in one single turn by combining the powers. Ooh. As your tribe grows larger, you will reap the benefits of building a tribal cult. Open the policy tree. There are four different categories in cultures. Navigate through all and hover upon notes to see what they do. From time to time, your tribe will ask you to make choices. Interesting. Sky Gods. Your new clan wishes to Sky Gods. Your original clan leaned towards this belief. Sky Gods policy from religion tree is going to be unlocked by the 
Later in this okay. End of tutorial. You learned the advanced mechanics of the ancients, and now you're ready to go try your challenge in the real challenge. Oh, that was a very long tutorial, guys. Whoa. I mean, I covered everything you need to know, which is brilliant, but that was a long tutorial. Anyway, I am all out of time. Thank you so, so much, Guerrilla Softworks, for allowing me to play the ancients crawling to the civilization. It does remind me of the original civilization games, not gonna lie. And it also reminds me a little populous, but very loosely. Anyway, guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my copy is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.